So now we've reached the final um, step in this process where we attach the portfolio we've created to a portfolio assignment. If you're familiar with attaching, you know, submitting documents through an assignment in your other Blackboard courses, it's very similar, only instead of clicking Browse My Computer to attach a document, you're going to click a, a Select Portfolio option to attach your portfolio. All right, so I'm in a, just a, just a fake class for the purposes of this video, that has a, an assignment that's a, a special kind of assignment that, is, that requires you to attach a portfolio rather than a document. All right, the icon looks the same, so um, unless you were made aware of it, you wouldn't know it was a portfolio assignment. Um, and you'll see one moment, what that looks like for a student in one moment. All right, so um, you read your directions. It tells you what you had to do to get to this point. Then you click the link for the assignment, and you'll see how many points it's worth, the directions again. And here, rather, you can see there isn't a Browse My Computer button. There's just a Select Portfolio or Create Portfolio option. I recommend, as the other videos um, walked you through, that you should create the portfolio ahead of time. And then, when you get to this point, you just click Select Portfolio. Any portfolios that you've created in your My Portfolio space will show up here. So you just click the link to the one you want to attach and click Submit. Okay, it shows the name of the portfolio, so you're sure you have the right one. And then just click Submit, and that's all there is to that. And it might take a moment, you know, so just stay on this page until you get to the Submission History page. Okay, just because it will take a moment to attach that and submit it. Okay, so be patient. <laughs> you can see what was attached and you're sure you have the right thing. All right? So that's all there is to submitting your portfolio. If you have any questions, um, please contact your instructor or the Teaching Learning Center. Thank you.